subscribed thanks for clicking on this video so today i'm just going to talk about like my fitness journey because hopefully if not the next video but the next next video i post will be a workout video or well, the next next one we'll see so i just thought like it might make more sense to just talk about what why fitness is important to me in the first place and how i got into it so that you know i don't know i just feel like i should do that before posting the workout videos so um I started working out in 2018 after like my first year at university so why I started because when I went to in first year I gained loads of weight from first year and um that would, I was just there was just a lot of stuff that I was just going through like in my head that you know affected my approach to food and just like overeating like because I would eat like I was not even when I'm when I'm not even hungry like was food was more for like comfort and yeah so i guess it was mainly from emotional eating so i had gained 100 i had gotten to 100 kilograms so i had gained like and then before i went uni i was like 85 maybe at most 90 i didn't really check my weight like that but i know that i was never anywhere near the late 90s before i went uni if i have photos i'll try and post it like 2017 before i went uni 2018 now in the summer of 2018 i'm like 100 kilograms and i went back home to nigeria and i was just so unhappy about how i looked and about my weight and stuff and there's a lot of things that contributed to that um two years before that i had just lost my dad and before i lost him i was vegan at the time where everybody in my family was vegan and it was more like for like health reasons i love animals but really and truly it was not because of animals it was more for like health reasons because we're trying to like encourage him to turn vegan for his health and um so we all went vegan in terms of like to like show support and all of that and um unfortunately like he still passed so it kind of demotivated everyone and we just kind of stopped so at 2016 i was probably at my leanest i've ever been um so yeah when i went uni in 2018 in the summer of 2018 um, around June, July, I lost my a family friend who used to work for us and um, he was way more than a worker, he was more like my second dad. And for me, it was just kind of like, it was two years of losing like the most important two fa like father figures in my life, like my actual dad and like my literally my second dad, because he'd worked with us for literally 15 years, so I'd basically grown up with him. So all these things that contributed to like my, like, the way I felt and just my approach to life and food and stuff because I always used to say like it's funny because ever since 2016 I don't think I've ever quite been the same because at school I was very outgoing very extroverted I had friends from literally all different types of groups and like all from all different kind of places but when I came to uni I was very reserved because I kind of just felt I don't know sometimes loss has a different effect on people sometimes it changes people's like approach to like life and like social situations so it's funny because if you meet any of my friends from Essex Uni they'll probably tell you that I will, I'm like introverted but if you meet my friends from school they'd probably tell you that I'm very extroverted but that's because of the kind of change that I went through mentally which now I'm kind of getting it back so I'm a bit more outgoing than I, I was during like my uni years but yeah what I'm going with this is I go into fitness because I wasn't happy with how I looked and um and because and yeah because obviously I was I felt like I was at uh, my heaviest uh, I had reached my heaviest weight and um that's why I began so how did I get into it so I always used to work out here and there like once in a while um but I never knew what to do in the gym apart from like go on the treadmill and then do some squats and I'm like yeah what else so in 2018 my sister recommended that we got a PT and at first I was like do we really need a personal trainer like we can do this by ourselves that like, we don't need one and luckily she pushed like that um she pushed that narrative and she found a personal trainer online shout out to ed the machine i'll leave his details below because guys he's really and honestly the best personal trainer like really and truly everything i know about fitness he honestly taught me and he's the best online offline just the best pt and he will literally help you get to your fitness goals so if you're thinking about getting a personal trainer i think it's absolutely worth it so obviously we discovered eddie and um in the space of six months of working with him online because i'd gone back to the uk after in the space of six months i'd gone from 100 kilograms to 80 kilograms i'd lost 20 kilograms And I was happy and I was looking good and 
yeah like it was i felt good and stuff so fitness became more like a therapy thing so like i used to have really bad mood swings like only my sister would really know the full effects of it because she's the only one that really used to feel the mood swings like everybody has mood swings like it's not an abnormal thing but i used to go from zero to hundred so quick and that was just because i was just unhappy like when you're unhappy internally it reflects how you act like with from like outside so i would say like working out for me it's more like a mental thing like obviously looking good is a bonus but that's really not the main thing like if that was the only thing that people gain from working out i would probably not be as into like as passionate as fitness as i am like because for me working out is more like it, it just makes me feel better in my head like makes me feel good and like it gives me like happiness like every time like temporary temporary happiness like every time i've completed a workout like i can feel the endorphins i feel great so i kind of feel like there's a myth that only people who are like who need to lose or gain weight need to work out and that's just very untrue like everybody needs to work out regardless of how great you look or how not great you think you look like everybody i feel like it's it's not i don't know i feel like people don't get that it's just like literally a requirement to like live a normal healthy life like even if you're doing a quick 20 30 minutes three four times a week like it's literally a requirement and i feel like these days everybody thinks that you literally need to sorry you literally need to work out just to look good and um like that's all it's about it gives you way more than that for me it gave me like it helps me up there that's literally the main reason i work out because it takes a lot of mental stability to even be consistent so it's literally all up here like it's little to do with like the physical it's all in your mind so where i'm at now to be honest i hardly weigh myself like i haven't weighed myself for a very long time because there was a time where i was obsessed with like checking my measurements and my weight but all i know is i'm happy right now with how i look but obviously i i, I want to improve and i want to get better in terms of my fitness goals i'm at a stage where i'm trying to lose weight but i'm trying to retain weight on certain places like um i'm trying to like build my lower body that's why i'm so pissed about the gym's closing because i was going in in the gym with like weight lifting and stuff and it's just so annoying because really and truly home workouts are great but they're just not for me they're just they're just not like it takes me so let's imagine the gym takes me like this much like mental energy home workouts take me like shit this much so you get what i mean it takes me like double the mental energy to work out at home because if you think about it like this is where you like this is where i rest like this is my room where i sleep so to convert it to a place of working out it's hard you know like it's actually difficult so i don't really i do home workouts i'm not gonna lie during quarantine it's been a bit harder so i've only been putting in two three times weekly which is still fine but that's unlike me because when the gyms are open i literally go monday to friday and only rest like on the weekend so like back to back but it's fine because it's a journey not a sprint so after the work after lockdown is done and the gyms are open again in the uk obviously i will go back to like working out and stuff so yeah i just wanted to kind of just talk about what it even means to me and why it's important and just like insert some like before and after pictures and where i'm at now because i feel like when i first lost weight i lost a lot of weight but i also lost a lot of muscle so like if you see me now and how i was like maybe a year ago um it, would, it might look like i've gained more but it's just mainly like for example guys i wasn't blessed with a bum right i just was I just came out a pancake and that's okay but i would set a photo of like my before and after glute um gains so like um you can see like it's not a big change but it's a little bit of a change like come on you can give that to me like I, my bum has become a bit peachier than it used to so i'm um, in terms of weight loss like that's why i'm not checking my weight too much because i'm doing so much lifting that i know that it will probably fluctuate and it'll make me think i'm adding fat when i'm actually adding muscle so like that's why i'm not like that i'm obsessed with checking my weight and really and truly that number on the score does not define you because you can be on your period and you it will tell you that you're three four kg heavier like it actually doesn't make sense so if anything i stick to measurements more i measure my waist and my hips like and my like bust like that's the, and my thighs and stuff that's what i stick to more measurements more than what it says on the skull because the skull sorry to say it but the skull is not your friend it's actually not your friend <sighs> having some peppermint tea so um i have like notes so that i don't go off because i tend to waffle and i don't want to waffle today um so i wanted to just touch on like working out 
with people slash alone i used to be like pro working out on my own but then luckily i came to uni uh, for well second time and i met my friend Deshana, hi Deshana if you're watching and we're literally it's such a blessing because we're literally like on the same like we have very similar mindsets when it comes to fitness and we like motivate each other so I would say if you can find somebody who is gonna literally motivate you to work out go for it like it's as in motivate each other because there's nothing worse than going with somebody who will pull you down or something somebody you will pull down so it's good to find someone that you're leveled with you guys have the same mindset you guys can push each other so because having a gym buddy can be amazing for like accountability like it can be really 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 good like for like you know um just helping you to stay on track and stuff so i'd say definitely get a gym buddy if you can find one that is like on your level mentally and physically that's why when i say on your level i don't mean on your level like they can run as quick as you do i mean like the consistent thing is there so it's not like because with me and the Shana, we go back to back monday to friday like it's very rare where one person's like oh sorry i'm not gonna come today like it's very rare like it's it's like it's it's leveled which is how it should be so i'd say if you can find a good gym buddy go for it and also yeah um as time goes by, I'll probably talk about more things like supplements that I take or don't take, what I think of certain like gym things, like gym equipment, like resistant bands and waist trainers and all of that stuff. Like I'll at some point, I'll probably talk about that. But I just wanted to let you guys know a bit more about what fitness means to me and why I do it in the first place. Like the reason why is because it just helps me feel good. Like it's a more a mental thing than any other thing. Like I can't tell you how much it's helped me to like just have a positive attitude to life. And I, I felt like I was going through so much that I just numbed it because so like when I'm going through stuff sometimes I don't always say it so like in terms of like you know going through loss and like losing two important people in the space of two years it took a lot on me it took a toll on me that I never really speak speak about so um that's why like maybe some people might think oh I didn't know like it was that much of a deep reason but fitness helped me so much guys like and I just feel like it's lit but yeah guys um i don't want to make this video too like serious but thanks for watching so much and um if you if you enjoyed this video please like it guys and leave a comment tell me that tell me what you guys want to see i have loads of plans of things that i want to do and um with people so that is that should all happen very soon but yeah let me know any ideas that you guys think i should do and stuff because i'm willing to like you know do some fun videos but yeah thank you for watching or should I do like a, cause I'm talking about fitness, like a, like a flex. <laughs> Getting a thumbnail is hard, guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bro.